Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams and Charlamagne the God situation. So if you guys don't know, this picture was posted onto social media the other day and it went viral and basically it's Charlamagne with what looks to be Wendy, but people are not sure. It also looks like a wig on his shoulder. And so anyways, Wendy Williams posted it and basically said that you know her and Charlamagne were back together again. So she posted it and this is what Wendy Williams says. She says, he learned from the best Loyalty is everything. My guy is doing his thing. So that's what Wendy wrote. And then I believe she eventually deleted it. But then she took to her Hot Topics show to talk about, you know, her reunion with Charlemagne the God. If you guys don't know, they were beefing for years. Not because of anything Charlemagne did, but Charlemagne and Kevin got into it. And basically, ever since then, Kevin Hunter never wanted Charlemagne around. And Wendy Williams denied even knowing who Charlemagne was on several occasions, which to me made no sense because for years they worked together in New York radio. But anyways, it seems to me that now that Charlemagne is a lot bigger, almost as big as Wendy Williams, he's blowing up and now now that Kevin Hunter is no longer in the picture, Wendy Williams is now humbling herself and reaching out to her old friend. And you know what? I'm here for it, okay? So y'all go ahead and check out this video of Wendy Williams talking about their reunion. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me just warm it up. <laughs> Yesterday, um, I had a very nice afternoon with a longtime friend of mine. Oh. Charlemagne. Uh-huh. I don't know who I've become. No. I like her. Oh. Norman? Uh-huh. <laughs> and you know, you know, we are two loose cannons. Right. Oh, uh, let me tell you something, honey. <laughs> I can only take Charlemagne in small doses <laughs> because the, the banter of the back and forth and knowing each other for so many years. You know, I met him when he was still a DJ in Down South. And I brought him to New York. I said, look, you sit next to me and you make with that funny. And, and the rest is history. <laughs> um, but small doses, you know what I mean? Right, right. Like, he is a mess. <laughs> he made me cry. Aww. He teared up. Aww. We're talking about people. And situations. Anywho, hi Charlemagne. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Talked about who's the donkey of the day, oh. or the year, or of life. Ew. All right, so. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So Wendy was basically saying that, you know, they went through a lot, they talked, they chopped it up, and that she cried and Charlemagne cried, okay? But then on The Breakfast Club, Charlemagne comes on there and basically acknowledged a lot of what Wendy was saying, but he's saying that he didn't cry, okay? He was acting super hard, saying that Wendy cried, but he didn't cry. So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Talked about you on her show. Yesterday, um, I had a very nice afternoon with a long time friend of mine. Charlemagne. Oh, let me tell you something, honey. I can only take Charlemagne in small doses. True. <laughs> because the, the banter of the back and forth and knowing each other for so many years. You know, I met him when he was still a DJ in Down South. And I brought him to New York. I said, look, you sit next to me and you make with that funny. And, and the rest is history. But small doses, you know what I mean? Right. right. Like he is a mess. True. He made me cry. True. He teared up. Wrong. You teared We're up. We're talking no. about people Soft. and situations. You teared up. True. Talked about who's the donkey of the day. Fact. Uh, or the year. Fact. Or of life. Doo doo brown. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. You cried? <laughs> no. She definitely cried. You teared. No. She said you teared. That's not, that did not happen. You teared. What you teared? Why? Tear why you Come deny on, everything? Who <laughs> <laughs> denied everything? Tearing. She, I, she, he I, was tearing I, I up. You reached out. Listen. 
literally, literally, the, you got on sweatpants. Don't hug me with sweatpants on. Literally, the whole conversation is me saying uh, something to Wendy and her telling me to shut the F up, Charlamagne. That's our whole conversation. I tell her the truth about something and she knows I'm right and she'll tell me shut the F up. That's our relationship. But always what? have been and probably always will be. But when did you cry? I did not cry. It He's was, crying now. Not at all. <laughs> I, will, I will say, though, that picture she posted of us, that wasn't a real picture, though. I, that was actually me holding up one of her wigs. I saw people saying that online, and y'all were absolutely correct. You don't see none of her limbs or nothing in the picture. That's just hair. So where were you when you had a wig? Wendy keeps wigs on her all the time. She has guys It that, looked like you were crying people, in that picture. She has people that carry, that carry, carry her wigs, wigs around. around. Yeah, that's dope. You didn't know that? Nope. Yeah, she keeps three different wigs with her at all times. All right, so you guys just saw what Charlemagne the God had to say, so I don't know. First of all, they both lied and made it seem like they were both in the picture, only to find out it was just a wig on Charlemagne's shoulder, so he did confirm that. But I think the fact that, you know, regardless if he cried or didn't cry or she cried or, you know, she didn't cry, I think it's good that they're back together. And this is why I always say that, you know, when people turn on you and, you know, act funny towards you or try to act like, you know, you're here and they're here, don't even trip off of it because like I always say, the same folks you see on your way up, honey, are the same ones you will see on your way down, okay? So this is a perfect example of that. You know, on her rise to fame, she kind of left Charlemagne behind and acted like she didn't know him. And Charlemagne just kept doing him, kept grinding, and now he's basically on the same level as her. So she's forced to acknowledge him now, especially now that Kevin is not in the picture, which I think is a good thing. I predict that eventually either Charlemagne the God will go on to the Wendy Williams show or Wendy Williams will go on to Charlemagne's new YouTube channel. I think that's what I see in the future. I would love to see them back together, especially being that the Breakfast Club, a lot of people are saying that the Breakfast Club may be ended in the next year or so and that the chemistry is kind of off. I think today's show was a lot better than the previous days that they've been on ever since the whole Gucci Man thing. But I could definitely see a possible reunion with Charlemagne the God and Wendy Williams in the future. And I'm here for that, okay? Because I remember when they used to do radio, they were crazy. Now, they both grown and Charlemagne has calmed down a lot. He's not as nasty and vulgar as he used to be. And Wendy Williams, you know, she's becoming more friends with celebrities, so she can't, you know, she really don't be going in like she used to go in. But I still respect both of their platforms, and I respect the fact that they can bury the hatchet and try to pick up where they left off. And just, you know, not, not be best friends again, but at least be cordial, at least acknowledge, at least give him props because he's definitely worked hard to get to where he's at. So that was very big of Wendy to give him props and say that he's doing his thing because for, you know, for a few years now, she totally ignored him and act like he didn't even exist. So the entire situation is just insane. But like I said, it's good to see them back together. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Wendy Williams and Charlemagne the God. Make sure you don't forget to hit subscribe, like the video, share the video. And last but not least, don't forget to hit that bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.